Alright, so... Um, these guys. Actually, the re there is a pretty good reason to clear them out. Um, there is actually an upgrade up top of where in that previous room um, where that little stone hinge circles and things sort of takes you. So if you don't have these guys dead, they're going to bug the crap out of you. They also do the jump thing, if I remember correctly, which means that there's no way you're getting up there. If we just put this guy on the spike and be done. Maybe not. Maybe that's not what I do. No, because that would be too easy. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, that's what you're doing. Oh, I was trying, yeah, I was trying to get his soul, and if you do it too quickly, you knock him in the air. That's what it was. Ah. Uh. Silly game that mechanics. The fun and excitement of controls gone wrong. You can see a leading man flies in concentric circles as Raziel. For no apparent reason. Thrill as he barely makes jumps. <laughs> that should be perfectly reasonable, but because of the camera. And that is the final health piece for. ever? I think so. I think that's it. So, yay. I'm pretty certain we're actually done with all upgrades. So, what? Yeah. I just gotta go back and get the two or three arcane tomes that you missed. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> like, I I cared for a while, and then I got to a certain point here where I was just like, I could go back, but some of them are very... Like, for example, there's one in this level, which was sort of similar to the, uh, the telekinesis rune in that water area. Only what it is, is it's under that, in that area, then you shift into the spectral realm, walk through a gate that's exactly one foot wide, and then you have to go... Uh, like a considerably large distance just to get back your body to do it all over again. And I was like, I really don't want to add five minutes to this video for no fucking reason. Well, I can't argue with that. Like, I, I, I would love to point out all the arcane tomes, and I get quite a few of them. There are just a few that I don't give an F about. Especially the ones in Borodor's Mansion, because they always just take extra time, and no. By the way, apparently this door can also be opened by shoving a reaver into it. <laughs> Raziel's skipping down the stairs. And here I thought that they had the whole st spiral staircase thing figured out. So here, you may notice there's a problem. This is a bug I ran into, and you cannot use the Heart of Darkness on Janos Adrian. I don't know why. I had to reload another save, and here's my fade. Yay, it works now. What the fuck? Hmm. This relic had come at so high a cost. My blood offering for the answers I sought from this enigmatic corpse. It was the price of my freedom, for which Cain had paid with his life. Had I journeyed so far, and forsaken so much, only to have it end like this? I... remember... Raziel, the heir of prophecy. You came for the Reaver, just before the Seraphim found me. You've been entombed here for five centuries. Your murderers are long dead. <gasps> five hundred years? And Vorador? Also dead. Your bloodline is erased. The Age of the Vampires is coming to an end. Then we must waste no time. I'm not who you think I am. Nor is this a benevolent act. I have questions that apparently you alone can answer. Raziel, there are forces in this world that will strive to deceive you and pervert your destiny. But you must believe your arrival foretells the salvation of the vampire race. 
Why then would the vampires devise a weapon to consume and imprison their savior? No, that cannot be. While the blade yet exists, I am drawn inexorably toward my doom. It was you who bound me to this fate. Only you can release me. Raziel, you have been misled. You are ordained by prophecy to wield the Reaver. <sighs> and so I do, though not quite as you'd envisioned. Redeemer and destroyer. Is it possible? Did I misread all the signs? It seems your destiny is more labyrinthian than I had imagined. You must trust me, Raziel. We may have very little time. I will convey you to the place where your answers lie. So I just want to say, what the fuck he can teleport? Why didn't he teleport away from the Seraphim? Thank you. That is my problem. <laughs> I thought it was dumb when he could teleport in Blood Omen 2. I didn't think they were going to just let him teleport in Defiance. Unless he suddenly gained the ability to teleport after he came back to life again. But come on. Seraphan, teleport, Raziel's invulnerable. What the fuck could the Seraphan have done? Nothing. God damn it's, it. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's the teleport plot device. Yeah. Anyway, we're ending it there. Join us next time for what will be the final set of episodes, or the final episode itself. Um, it'll be crazy, and we'll have a lot of plot to talk about the whole time. It'll be you think maybe nuts. We'll, you think maybe we'll talk away all the way through the credits this time? Maybe. I don't know if it's possible. There's a lot of stuff to recap and just talk about through the series. <laughs> Anyways, we'll catch you guys soon. Yep, next time. Bye.